In this video, I'm going to show you how to embed videos inside of uh, HTML documents. So first, let's create a directory where we can do all our work. So file, new, folder, and let's create this uh, internet. Uh, you might already have your own folder where you're doing all your work. Uh, since we're going to be creating multimedia documents, uh, we're going to create a folder inside of the uh, working folder, another folder called multimedia. So in here is where we're going to do all our work. So let's create a text document. Notice that uh, it does not have a text extension. This is because the operating system is hiding the extension from us. Uh, let's go to view, uh, hide it. Let's uncheck this checkbox that it hides the extension. Say OK. Notice that it now it does display the extension. It tells us that this is indeed a text document. Uh, let's uh, rename it and say that it's videos.html. Uh, the operating system says, are you sure you want to change it? They say, yes, we are sure. Uh, now you notice that uh, it has the icon of the browser, meaning that if you double click on this, it will open up with the browser. So we don't want to double click it. We want to open it with not, not with the default uh, browser. We want to open it with just with a text editor. Uh, you can use Notepad or WordPad. Over here I'm using WordPad just because it lets it me um, increase the size of the font so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Here I'm uh, creating an HTML document. Um, I'm, I'm creating the tags HTML and closing it. I'm also creating a head tag. Uh, these are not really needed, um, but uh, I'm, I'm just being kosher about it. I'm just showing you what a, a, an entire HTML document looks like. Um, all of these tags right, need, right now are not needed. Uh, I'll just tell you exactly uh, all of the pieces that are needed. It's always a good idea to save often. So this is the absolute minimum that you need for an, an HTML document, but if you leave it out, the uh, browsers are usually very forgiving. Uh, this this heading here is absolutely necessary because we do ha want an, a heading in our in our document. Everything else, the HTML, the head, the body tag, all those uh, browsers are okay if you leave them out. But uh, but this heading over here, uh, we do want it because we want it to actually render that heading. So let's uh, let's double let's save and double click and notice that uh, it does render our heading of type one. Let's let's start now another instance of a browser so that we can look for videos in uh, YouTube. There it is. So let's uh, go to uh, youtube.com and uh, here uh, we're going to browse for one of my favorite topics, uh, robots. Uh, here's an interesting robot that uh, Sony came out with, the Curio robot. Sony Curio, there it is. So there's, here's a couple of uh, videos that are interesting. You're welcome to peruse through them. They're very interesting. So let's, let's click on this one. Uh, there it is. Here's an introductory video about the uh, Sony Curio robot. Uh, to embed a video uh, into our um, HTML document, we click on this button called the Embed button. If you click on there, it appears here a, uh, a tag that we can just copy and paste into our HTML document. So let's uh, copy that. Uh, let's um, close the browser. Let's go back to our web page document, videos.html. Uh, let's make some space here to paste our our um, our video. Let's let's create first a uh, a title uh, of heading uh, type two. Call it the Curio Robot by Sony. And under there, we're going to paste the uh, the embed uh, tag that we just copied from YouTube. There it is. Uh, uh, we can see what this looks like if we uh, save the document. And then let's uh, go. If you go back to the, uh, the, the document the, uh, that we had originally, and we reload, refresh this, it reloads the document. In IE, you have to allow the browser to access the YouTube video. We say yes, and there it is. Here's the video that we just uh, copied and pasted from YouTube. Notice that it plays perfectly just in, in our own uh, web page. We can, we can uh, play it, we can pause it, we can fast forward, just everything we can do in, in YouTube. Uh, one other thing that we want to add here is the link to the original uh, YouTube page that we got this from. Right? So here we, here's, we're back to the YouTube page. We can copy the URL from the, from the address bar. We can copy that. We can go back to our uh, HTML document, our web page, and let's create a link. Let's create a, a hyperlink um, right here. Let's, uh, let's insert a, uh, a phrase uh, that uh, or, or or sentence that we want them to click on uh, to get at the original video. So here it is. Um, we choose we one of the words that we want them to be able to click on. Let's say we want them to click on the word video. Around the word video, we're going to create an anchor tag. 
say telling the browser that this word is special. If the user clicks on this word, we want it to go to, to whatever this href says. So we say href is equal to uh, the URL we just copied from. There it is uh, in, in quotes. Make sure that it's all in quotes. Uh, let's save that. Let's go back and refresh our page. There it is. Uh, where's the link? Where's the link? Oh, here it is. It's all the way down here. Um, it, uh, let's let's format it so that they appear in in uh, different uh, lines. So here's a here's a hyperlink followed by the video, the actual embedded video. So in between, we're going to put a break, or maybe a paragraph. Well, let's see. Yeah, yeah. Let's put a break. So here's a break, and um, uh, let's save that and refresh. Let's refresh the page. There it is. So now the, the hyperlink and the video appear in two different lines, in separate lines. If we click on the hyperlink, it takes us back to the original page. If we click on the video, it plays the video. So it looks, looks like it's uh, working correctly. Let's pause this. Let's test whether the link works. If we click on that, yeah, there it is. It takes us to the original YouTube page where we got this video from. Very good.